Hi everyone, great to see you today. I'm here with Ian Hutchison who has helped, well, who has produced the album with me. Um, fantastic producer, really enjoyed working with him. And um, we're here talking about playing keys and pianos on this recording. So Ian, yeah. you're a great keys player. Um, <laughs> I enjoy listening to your music when you're playing in there, in the booth over there. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about your approach to playing piano on this recording and maybe some of the recording things that you've techniques sure. you, you've found? Sure. Well, for me, um, piano is all about tone, really. Uh -huh. It's more about the tone than it is about how many notes you're playing, you know. So I'd much rather play something simple that just, that the chord has the right attack and the right tone so it just like kind of hits you, you know. Mm. Um, and a lot of that's about playing softly. So I actually play it's an old hundred year old piano I've got here in the studio and I, I play it very softly, even sometimes with a soft pedal down, um, mm -hmm. just to get that warmth and that richness um, rather than kind of just attacking the thing and making yeah. it really bright and thin. So so it's a lot about tone, about kind of choosing the right voicings on the chords and things like that, just to, to really get a nice kind of warmth. I think the piano in this recording has been all about um, kind of getting that intimate sound on the piano, I suppose, and getting mm -hmm. the kind of um, in the room feel with yeah. that particular like, so. Yeah. And we've used a, a variety of different techniques, I guess, mm -hmm. in terms of some just being solid chords yeah, and playing yeah. just progressions of music. But then there's other tracks like Day and Night mm -hmm. um, and The Voice, oh, yeah. which, yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what we did with Day and Night? So, yeah, for that, I guess what we did was we actually used the piano more as a sort of uh, effect, um, as a pad, I yeah. guess we would call it. So yeah. it's, it's more like kind of an atmospheric thing. So so we kind of played some some fast notes on the piano, but quite blurred. And then we used some some kind of digital effects processing to kind of add delay and reverb and other things to that to kind of to 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 blur the lines of the notes basically, so mm. that it becomes more of a, a an atmospheric sound. So. Mm. Yeah, and it sounds incredible hearing mm. it now, <laughs> fully finished. Um, now, what was the most challenging part of playing piano on this recording for you? Um, well, I would say actually the, the most challenging stuff was actually the key stuff uh -huh. um, in terms of some of the synth uh, work that we did. Again, it's all about the sound, you know, um, you know, playing the notes is one thing and that's fine. Um, I'm kind of used to that, but it's, it's about finding the right sound to fit hand and glove to the mm -hmm. recording. And, you know, our first few stabs at synth sounds weren't really kind of doing what we wanted. Um, and so it was all about spending a bit of time really to dial in the sounds that work for the track. And mm -hmm. it's when you've got the sound all of a sudden you know, it's really easy to find the right notes because mm. you've got the thing that inspires you and that fits well on the track. So I guess kind of searching out synth sounds and kind of all the atmospheres and stuff has been the biggest challenge, but I've really yeah. enjoyed that part of the process. So. And and the synths was really fun. I mean, mm. we had a lot, spent a lot of time. We actually used, what, what's the keyboard called? So it's an ARP quartet, which is an, mm. uh, an old 60s, 70s, I think, maybe um, analog string synth. Um, and we used that through uh, a Strymon reverb pedal, which kind of gives that huge sense of space and it's quite a, a recognisable sound in some ways, mm. as in it's probably a sound you've heard in a lot of recordings, but it really has a has an atmosphere about it. Yeah, and we were at one point, you know, you were playing, mm -hmm. I was tweaking the, yeah, <laughs> like the cut off and the different volume and the different knobs on the, the big sky, which was <laughs> so much fun. I really <laughs> enjoyed that. <laughs> Felt like I was a keys player. Um, and But there's other things that we've used as well. Mm -hmm. We've used the Hammonds. That's right. We've used the Rhodes. Yep. And the, the small synth patch we've called Juno. Oh yes, that's right. We have a, a, a software re recreation of a Roland Juno, which is a, mm. an old, again, another old analog synth, uh, which has a, a certain, slightly kind of harder edge sound, um, and is really useful for creating pads and kind of little bass parts and, and things like mm. that as well. So. And the Hammond, mm -hmm. what, how many tracks would we use that for now? Can you remember? Two, three? I think maybe two or three. Yeah. I, I, in the end, yeah. Now we've used that very subtly. I've got a Leslie rotating speaker, but we haven't used that in kind of full swing because then it's like kind of <laughs> it's very organy then. But again, playing low register on the Hammonds with the slow rotation or no rotation on the speaker mm -hmm. gives a very kind of atmospheric sort of under underneath sound, which is really really useful as we mm -hmm. go things up. So. Yeah, and I just love the roads and any time mm -hmm. I come in the studio I just have a little tap away at it. Um, it sounds beautiful. So thanks so much for playing all the keys great. and pianos on the recording. Thank you. I had such a great time working on, on the whole lot of projects. So. Thank you.